Hello, this is Ben McGahey, McGahey Mathematics, and in this video we're going to learn how to solve some abstract linear equations. So, what do we mean by abstract linear equations? It's just type of linear equations that just have strictly the letters, and there are no numbers in the equations. So, we're just going to work with the, the variables only, and just solve for a, a particular variable in that equation. So let's say, uh, for example, we'll start off with a with a basic one where we have x minus y equals z, and let's say we want to solve for um, x. So the variable we want to solve for is x. So a good way to do this is just you know. Maybe circle the variable you want to isolate or solve for, and then make sure that that variable is circled is is by itself in the very end. So the goal here is is to get the minus y over to the other side with the z. So we'll have minus y, x minus y. So we need to do the opposite operation which is addition so we're going to add y to both sides so these four y's will cancel and then we're just left with x and that equals uh, z plus y So that would be our answer, x equals z plus y. Okay, so let's look at another example. Say that was just a one step problem, but let's look at a two step abstract linear equation. So if we have at plus b equals c and we want to solve for t so we got to circle the term with t in it which is at that's the the um, variable we want to get by itself or isolate so that means we got to get the b over to the other side with c so if we have plus b adding at plus b we do the opposite operation with subtraction so subtract B both sides so these B's will cancel and then we have a, a T equals this would be C minus B so notice that I don't combine those together C minus B to make like CB or BC because they are uh, different variables, different letters, so, so you can't combine those. So, next thing we're going to do is uh, to get T by itself, we got to divide both sides, right, by A. And then, so the A's are going to cancel. And then we're left with T equals. C minus B all over A. It's T equals C minus B all over A. Okay. Let's do one that has a little different twist to it. But, um, we'll figure out how to solve it using a, well, one of the properties we learned in, the, in the, one of the past videos. So if we have P R minus P S equals V and we want to solve for P. Notice here 
that. And let's highlight this in different color. Notice that you have you have P here, and P there, and both both expressions P R minus P S. So so how can we get the P by itself? Well, if we notice. Remember with distributor property, we could write this to the side over here. Remember how you would have had A times B. <clears throat> we can do, we'll just do minus C equals, and remember we distribute A to B. So A, B. A times B is A, B. And then we have minus, distribute A to C. So A times C is AC. So notice that the AB minus AC looks kind of like, kind of like what we have over here, right? With PR minus PS, but we want to turn it more into this form. It's called factored form of um, finding the common factor that comes outside, which is A, because both of these terms have A in them. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out the common one that's in both terms. That's going to be P times. And then the terms that are outside of the circles, we'll just write inside. They'll be R minus S equals V. So now we can isolate our P, right? We can solve for P now, just dividing both sides by um, R minus S. So R minus S to both sides, and we see that these R minus S's cancel, and then we're left with P. So P equals V over R minus s. And that'd be our final answer. P equals V over R minus s. Okay. So, well, we'll do one more problem. We can get a new board here. And let's try let's try this one. We'll say K N plus M equals Q N plus W. And we're going to solve for n. Mm -hmm. So here, notice that we have um, we have two terms with n in them, right? N in them, <laughs> and we have to get the n's um, on the same side, right? So. And we need to get the M and the W's on the the same side as well. So, so what we can do is let's bring the Q in over um, to that side with the K in. So. What we'll do is we'll subtract, right? Because the addition, we do the opposite subtract. So minus Q in to both sides. So those Q ins will cancel. So we'll have K in minus Q in and then plus M. 
and then equals all we have left on this side is W. Okay. Then the next step that we're going to do is we're going to um, bring the M over to the W and since we're adding M we do opposite subtract M to both sides. So these M's are going to cancel. So we're left with K N minus Q N equals W minus M. W minus M. Okay. Now notice that and in both of those both terms have n, right? So we're going to factor out n because that's the common factor. n and then times we have k minus q. What's outside the circles? k minus q equals w minus m and then we just divide um, both sides right by k minus q and k minus q so notice that the k minus q's cancel and then we're left with n equals W minus M all over K minus Q. And this would be our final answer. N equals W minus M over K minus Q. Okay, so we there's a lot in, going on in this video where we had to solve for um, abstract linear equations for variables that you know don't have any numbers in them, and it's the same idea as just solving the linear equations we did before with the numbers and and the variables or the letters. You just have to um, be careful, you know, with the um, the operations and notice that um, when you have Two, um, two, ter two terms, you know, with the same variable, you have to factor out the common factor and then use the distributive property in reverse, bring in, find the inside terms, whatever is left over, and then divide it to both sides. So, again, my name is Ben McGahey, McGahey Math Max, and uh, thank you for watching this video on abstract linear equations. And um, we'll be moving on to some new topics on solving linear inequalities. Um, you know, those things you, that you solve for the variable where you, you have greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, all that good stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that video.